Hey everyone, I'm Mark, and this is a 2007 iMac with an AMD RX 580. Let's talk about that. Let's go take a look around the machine before I take it apart. Here we have the power adapter for the display. 12 volt, 3.3 amp, RX 580, Sapphire Radeon, LCD driver board for the LG display inside here. We have a 400 watt PSU. Had to stick a pin inside the 24 pin ATX so this way it can stay on. Unfortunately, I don't have a switch here, so I just unplug this thing, just yank it out. Put a little heat sink on here for the LCD driver board because it does get hot. This chip does get warm. DVI connection from here to here. Mini PCI Express via USB 3 cable going over to this PCI Express board. And then I have an extension cable going out from underneath over to where the graphics card is. Separate power supply <laughs> for the LCD trap report, the computer, and the power supply graphics card. While talking about how this project came to be, you'll see me take apart the iMac so you can see for yourself what exactly is inside. A year ago, during a hiatus, I had the idea of testing whether or not a modern graphics card can actually be plugged into a 2007 iMac. This is due to the PCI Express protocol available via the mini PCI Express slot. The modifications are fully reversible, and the point of this project was threefold. First, to establish a proof of concept on this model. Secondly, to enable a unique feature only provided by this modification. And lastly, establishing some sense of practicality. Check it out. No MXM graphics card. It's just a heatsink. <laughs> There's no optical drive. There's no hard drive. So all the heat that would normally be created by having an optical drive, having an internal MXM graphics card, and having an internal hard drive, uh, it's all just gone going to be a lot less heat in here so it's actually a benefit for this computer for having done this project in a way um, aside from all the other reasons why this project was done but yeah this is a real fully fledged 2007 iMac right over here you can see it right in the flesh performance is what you would expect but also not the juxtaposition of an Intel Core 2 Duo T9500 being in the same computer as a GPU roughly 10 years newer provides for some interesting results. For example, uh, it boots as fast as you would expect for a computer of this age with a solid state drive. And as configured, this iMac feels like using an M1 Mac Mini but with less processing power. Apps are sluggish to load sometimes, but animations are buttery smooth. The iMac struggles multitasking beyond a few apps, however, can stream 1440p video from YouTube just fine. This is how we get a computer which originally shipped with macOS Tiger, yet miraculously can now play games like Alien Isolation, Layers of Fear, and the latest Minecraft. All in all, this computer is a thing. If you are, however, looking for my personal stamp of approval on it as to whether or not you can daily drive this computer, oh, absolutely, this thing is totally fine for daily tasks, absolutely. So check this out. All the settings are on high. To complete this project on your own, you will need the following items. A 2007 to 2009 20 or 24 inch iMac, the corresponding LCD driver board for your LCD board model, an external power supply, a compatible graphics card, an MSATA interface mini PCI Express to PCI Express riser board, something that is used in mining machines, a USB drive for open core with at least 16 gigs on it, a strong internet connection, another Mac to make the USB drive, pliers, some cable splicing, tape, super glue, zip ties, and patience. In short, this is something that can be done and is another way to extend the life of an older iMac. However, there are far better computers out there, far newer, and for sure are a better way 
to spend your money and get better bang for your buck. However, here on this YouTube channel, I like to explore different ideas and projects. All right, so that was a project. Thank you guys so very much for taking your time out of your day watching this crazy computer project of mine. If you like it, you know what to do. If you dislike it, you also know what to do. Leave a comment below if you'd like, and have a great rest of your day, guys.